Hello, one and all. This is Lucas Lovelocks. Welcome back to Telling Lies. As I feel like we're coming to the end of the game. Um, the one thing that I keep coming back to is the first thing that Karen was searching for, which started with BR. What could it have been? What could... What starts with BR that she could have been searching for? Broken? Oh. Broken? But why would it be broken? Well. Let's see. Your call button's broken. And I'm cold. Hi, Boogie. <laughs> okay, well, quick, girls. You're going to be having sex with an ice cube. All right, that's not broken. Something from Mike, right? That was his name. But none of them are broken. What else starts with BR? David, where the hell are you? Where are you? Your field supervisor tells me you haven't commenced your exit plan. We're moving to the second phase. Soon we're going to round up all your Detroit friends, everyone who was on that boat. Okay, this is going to look like a well-organized operation. She was on the boat. It helps have a pretty face in the lineup. Remind the public the terrorists come in all shapes and sizes. Okay, you need to start following protocol. No! Listen, listen to me, David, okay? We are the ones upholding law and order. We're the ones who keep the darkness back. The irony of this job is that to uphold those laws, we're the ones who sometimes have to bend them, okay? We bend them, we don't break them. I've been doing this for a long time and I have made my men contort and twist themselves in all manner of ways, but none of them are broken. Please don't be the first. Ah, okay, what can we pick up on there? That's interesting. Law and order. You need to start following pro protocol. No. 5.31 a.m. It's kind of paying attention to this. So it went from 5.27 to 5.31 while we were watching that. Well, the two videos, I think. Second phase. I feel like we looked up. Second phase. Second phase before. Second phase. I just want to select. To the second. Second phase. Okay. Hmm. David, where the. I feel like we might have seen the other side of this conversation. Darkness. That's something David would say.
Hmm. I don't know what would be on the other side of this conversation. Arrested or something. What's the date on this? 423-2018. No. You're gonna get arrested, and you know what? Maybe you should. I should go back. I'm pretty close to submitting that database just to see what happens. What the fuck, David? You beat Peter up? Eric, okay. What exactly did Eric tell you? Look, we were in a relationship. I knew what I was doing. You and Eric, you don't own me. <laughs> You're not the law. Talk to me. I get to decide if I'm a victim of a crime. You don't just go and attack people. You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You're gonna get arrested and you know what, maybe you should. I never asked you to. Look, back then the group sided with him and yeah, that felt shitty. But hey, it sucks to be a woman. And now what are they gonna do, hmm? Oh, her boyfriend just beat up our friend. I guess she's okay after all. I mean, this whole thing is fucked. And I'm stupid because I expected better of you. You can take your gift back. Oh, gift? Hmm. No, I didn't open it. What's inside? Peter's scalp? What is it? Oh, she is opening the gift, so we'll find out what it is. Okay. Key to the apartment, I guess. I don't know what to say. I'm fucking furious at you. Okay, gift, I guess. Yeah. What's this say? I'm kind of like, I just, I, I, I like want to keep searching until I can't think of anything else to search for. David, what did they do to you? Why didn't the police stop them? Fuck, David, why aren't you in jail right now? Just notice there's the Jane Dean flyer in the back. That was her name, right? Is it Jane Dean? Performing Yeah, name? I heard he got arrested. David, I'm glad you're okay, but... I think you've done enough. So I'm not sure if this is when he looks beat up or if he looks beat up after he beats up Peter. You sound like Eric.
Let's talk about it later. Okay, first you need to rest. You look terrible. This must be when he looks beat up then. But also great. Wish I was there to hold you. Pretty cool that we're still finding new things, though. Uh, 1104. 1103, that's the day before. Huh. 535 AM now. Because you said he was arrested for a financial crime? I'm sorry, it's a force of habit. Oh, he's talking to uh, Maxine. So now I wonder if it only goes forward if we watch a video we haven't seen before. Huh. Gift. Let's test out that theory. 535 and it's this one's 125 long. Definitely. Yeah, the other side of that conversation. Okay. Happy Valentine's Day. So, did you get my gift? Yeah. Go on, open it. Oh, wait. Was it not your size? Yeah, that was because... Okay, it is, it is the other side of that conversation. There's that look. God, I'm getting tired of seeing that freaking look. Nice roses. What the hell are you talking about? You're my wife. Oh, no. He's... You know what? Look, I'll visit again soon, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I will. Mm -hmm. He's talking to Emma. Wait, hold on. Same day. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, Valentine's Day. Makes sense. Okay, what's going on here? Haven't seen Maxine in forever. Hello, everybody. Rose Red here. And hello to my regulars. Rose Red. House rules. Play nice. No pong chiefs, no humiliation requests, and no recording the show. No cams, no gifts, no emails. No intimate conversations. And check out the tip menu and wish list below. That's it. Let's have fun. So today, the weather is freezing in New York. And I was thinking, we can get cozy, warm each other up, because you deserve it. Hey, Cardinals 81. Oh, Cardinals 89. <laughs> Hi, Hungry Peter. Me too. I love the beach when it's hot. Hi, guest. No, 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 no. I am a East Village girl. Yes, I moved here when I was young to become a ballet dancer, but it didn't work out. But I still dance, so...
Awkward. Uh, let's go back. Oh. Second phase. Oh, interesting. Uh, this one, I guess. We were trying to find the other side of this conversation, right? Let's look up roses. Uh, so Emma doesn't say anything about roses. We're at five thirty nine. So does that make sense? I totally kept, I totally lost track of what time it was. Five thirty five, I think. Five twenty eight a.m. Oh, it shows me when I've. It shows when I actually watch the videos too. A uh, gift. You can take your gift back. Talking about. It's like beat up or something. I gotta remember also that I can like. I can look up like compound. It's not just one word at a time. I can look up uh, multiple words. Oh. Sure, I've looked up Eric before. Oh, there's a couple. There's one I haven't seen with Eric. Hey. Damn. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I got looked at, and it's nothing permanent or dangerous, but I, uh, I lost a tooth. This was the police. <laughs> they were heavy handed, let me tell you. They were manhandling this woman and I wasn't gonna just take it. I jumped in, they hit me, I hit them back. I mean, I took one of them down. Stupid. Because it was chaos. I, I had my mask on, you know, and I, I ditched my jacket and, oh, I saw your, your friend Eric. Yeah. Yeah, he was, uh, he was with that other guy, his friend. They were helping to block the road and, you know, not get into the skirmishes. But of course, they round up the easy to grab ones, so. Yeah. I don't know. I just, you know, I can't just stand around and watch these fascists and these, these police. I need to do more. Uh, these fascists, they're just the symptom. 
everything's so much worse now. And this country, and this planet. I mean, I, do, I need to do more. Maybe. I've been, I've been thinking about this pipeline. You know. I need to focus. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. So 5.39, now it's 5.41, and that was about two minutes long. So yeah, it seems to go forward maybe like when I watch a new video, or if I maybe watch a video all the way through. Don't know. 21 records, okay. Hmm. And I looked up Peter before, right? Thirteen. Uh I didn't see the other side of this. Oh Eric. Okay, back to BR. What else could it be? Broken? Break? We already did we already looked up broken. Um Breach. We already looked up bridge, I think, right? A while ago. Uh Broken. Well, I guess we already looked up broken. I won't be, maybe he says something like that. I won't be the first. I really would like to see the other side of this conversation. 423, 2018. Laws. Five forty four. Listen, you need to start following protocol. No. Huh. What does he say there? Following protocol. It's not protocol. No! Listen. Listen to me, David. Okay? We are the ones upholding law and order. It helps have a pretty face in line. No. Detroit friends, everyone was on that boat. All your Detroit, Detroit friends. Okay, so we're Exit plan, your maybe. Field supervisor tells me you haven't. Ah. Ah. There we go. Finally. Jeez. Some of these are hard to find. I have to keep Jones alive, Mike. Especially right now. It's, it's just everything's getting so tough. No. No, I haven't. No, 
No, not Ava. Not Ava, Mike. No, no, Mike! Mike! Ava was a means to an end! Oh, okay, and what about Greenstorm? No, this is a huge mistake, Mike! I'm telling you, listen to me, Ava... So the exit plan was to kill David Jones. Okay, I'll review the exit plan. Okay, cool. Hiding or something? Ah, here's some new ones. 546. <sighs> oh, Alba's hiding. Hey. Where is Alba? You know, I guess she must be hiding. We're gonna have to go find her. Yeah, okay, count to ten. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. <sighs> Just gonna fast forward this, I think. Chicken. I'm stuck. No. Oh no, sweetheart, Mima's sleeping. Oh. But Mima's sleeping for real. That's not fair. She always sleeps when she's had one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? Okay. Okay, close your eyes. Huh? <gasps> sleepy lion. So sleepy. <laughs> sleepy lions. So sleepy. Oh, ah. <laughs> you tricked me. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that's called entrapment. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> Dada, try some chicken. <gasps> okay. We really need to invent that technology. Being able oh, to eat eat through cell phones. Okay. Oh, it's just so weird <laughs> having like this entire relationship with his daughter Mama, over the phone. Mama, Oh no, thanks. Sweetheart, Mama's driving later. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up? What? What's going on? I got my shift off. Mama's planning on cooking a 30 pound turkey in honor of your presence. Thanksgiving. What, the terrorists don't get the holiday off? Yeah, no shit. Oh, well, I hope you choke on it. Ouch. Uh, 11.28.
Oh, this is uh before the concert. David, David, where are you? I'm on stage. They've already painted my name on the backdrop, so there's no turning back. No, oh, I don't feel good about singing without like my whole costume and all of my makeup, you know. And using my real name is like. Are you kidding? A hiding place is exactly what I need right now. I know the story. There's nothing in my dreams, just some ugly memories. Kiss me like the ocean breeze. It's hard to sing in someone else's song. It's a Feels like it's more about me. People just think about my take on it. But when I sing my own stuff, no one knows how it could sound different. I mean, the, the song is about how they hear it. It's about them. When I write a good one. <laughs> Don't you dare! Please, please. <laughs> okay, I don't really have to find the other side of that one, I don't think. Uh, okay, BR, 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 BR. Oh. I have no idea. Maybe it's time. Is it time? Five forty-six. I'm just, I'm looking at some notes here. What could it be? Bride. <laughs> hmm. Let's watch this while I think. Just going through all the like letters of the alphabet to see if I could think of something fresh. I'm still thinking about last night. I can't stop drinking coffee. I really need my sleep. I haven't come like that in forever. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was really fun. You like listening. That's not easy to find with guys. Well, beneath this unassuming exterior is a lot to discover. I am very special. <laughs> um, but I worry that we rushed things last night. You know, I thought as much. This guy's not a dick. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, don't make fun. He's a pretty big dick. <laughs> I still have your fortune cookie. You missed some. Um, your hidden talents will soon be revealed. Your hidden talents will soon be revealed in bed. Hidden 
talents. Let's see if we can find the other side of this. You're hidden. Oh, no. Okay. Your hidden talents will soon be revealed in bed. Fortune cookie, probably, though, right? I... Huh. I... Maybe not. Your hidden talents will soon be revealed in bed. <laughs> oh, and, um... Your record came in. No. You can come by and pick it up anytime. Or I can bring it by later. <laughs> oh, I should go. Is that Iggy? <laughs> yeah. Iggy Pop, yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Yes, I called into the record store on Sunday and we spoke for a bit. I told her I was new to the area. I wanted the red Iggy Pop record and she said they'd have to order it, but then she asked me why I wanted the remix when the original's the best. She's very pretty. Mirror, mirror on Something the wall. Like is that like a code that they start the conversations with? No, because I'm a collector and I have a thing huh. for colored vinyl. But honestly, I do prefer Pop's remix of Gimme Danger over the original. Because in the reissue, the loudness is fixed. And that sounds more natural and the vocals are more authentic. And today, I attended a meeting at the Jasmine Center, and uh, she remembered me from the record store. Yeah, and she said hi, we spoke in the back over some stale vegan cookies. You know, you're right, this is a good look on me. <laughs> I don't know, colorful detail. Hmm. I wonder if the BR has something to do with these, like, fairy tales. Uh, I guess we, I guess we got those. What could it be, though? BR? Five forty six AM. One hundred and six. Okay, this is going up. One hundred and six video streams is going up. Is that actually how many videos we found? It feels like we've seen so many more. Um. What was that name that she used? Five. Okay, we got all five records, anyways. Um. B R. I really looked up broken. Red. <laughs> There's so many possibilities. Just knowing all the stuff that we know though oh happy valentine's day this video is way louder than the rest oh is that what this is all right let's take a look uh this is the other side when she opens the gift so it's at 106 <laughs> right really Uh, no, I'm sure the size is fine. I just, I mean, what am I supposed to wear this on camera for you or what? 
wait for your next royal visit. The last time you were here, we didn't even screw. Look, look, I I've made peace with this. I've made peace with the fact that you're off on some crusade and I'm making do, but don't pretend like I'm, don't send me lingerie. Oh, God. someone left them for me at work, okay? Don't look at me like that. That's the way Papa used to look at Mama. It's poison. And Mama has been entirely dependent on me for love for 30 years, and I'm not gonna do that to Alba. Look, I'm not talking about any, just don't, don't send me underwear. <sighs> Okay, it. well, give us a warning next time because it freaks Alba out when you just show up. Okay, I gotta go to work. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> that is a bit weird considering the situation. 106 again. So it's only going up on specific videos? Ah! <laughs> Oh, is that okay? I was gonna say, is it the same freaking outfit? But no, that's different. The same lingerie. I just saw it from like the top. Yeah, like that. Mm hmm. Hey, Davey. It's my new look. Just in time for Valentine's Day, it's the busiest week of the year. New girls get all the traffic, so. It's a new me, a new name, a new look. I'm athletic and sporty. This one plays a little too young for my tastes. See, I add blonde to my tags and a hundred guys show up asking me to call him daddy. Oh, I am no longer French. If it helps, my, my mother was French. Most of it is her story. I inherited and put it to use. Why again? There is no loyalty in this business. You all like fresh meat. And you don't tip enough to be a regular. Ding ding. Don't be mad, David. I mean, we're still here, talking. I like hanging out with you. But there is a limit to how deep we go on here. I'm behind this glass right here. Do you see that? And this is fantasy land. Anyway, you are a good guy. Nope. I actually like you. Can we start over? That was your day, honey. Don't be angry. Sound mad. Well, tell me about it. You gonna arrest him? One less creep in the world to start. Are you telling me this so I could talk you down? This is, I guess, before he's gonna beat up that guy, uh, Peter. Well, why not do both? Beat his ass, and then put him behind bars. Or option C, we play around for a bit. And relax. No, you really want to be a regular. We need to consummate this thing, Davey. Hmm. Wait, what's this? What was the date on this? 2 19 2018. Hi, yoga tits. A warm up quick. You did? Okay. Well, happy belated Valentine's, you know. So wait, you do like it though, right? Okay.
Wow. It looks great. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew it would look good on you. They said it's real hair, so it has a nice feel, doesn't it? He sent Maxine a wig? It sounds like he's talking to Maxine. It's so interesting yeah. that you can... Went over there and spoke to him and it escalated. It's interesting you can tell who he's talking to just based on how he's talking, for the most part. Real hair. It could be like a coat. Well, there they are. It's the police. They've come to take me away. So just promise me you'll visit me in prison. I think he's talking to Maxine there. So this is 106 again. <laughs> it's okay. Banking herself. Hi there, Night Eighty One. Let me know what you'd like to do with me. So he was Prince Charming Eighty One, and he fell out of favor with her, and then he started using Night Eighty One, right? It's a wig, honey. This is 100% natural. Just like my tits. And ass. Huh. Spank, I guess? To the other side? No. Huh. Huh. What is going on here? I'm not I'm not looking at the subtitles because I want definitely want to see this. Sounds like she's she looks like she's upset. Explaining things to David and like. God, I wish I could just get to the beginning. That thing never. <laughs> That, that patch thing, I, I, I think I, I installed it and then I think they patched the game so that I couldn't use it anymore. I, actually, I didn't try after uh, after that patch dropped. So maybe I should try it again. So I'd love to be able to just skip to the beginning. I'm also looking for BR things. <laughs> Good God, what could it be? She's just listening here. She's looking rough. Is it possible that this is when he's telling her about Ava? If he does. Alba has been playing happy families. That's your baddie house. She says you live there now with your baddie family. 
Hold on. Alba. Happy families. I'm gonna try to pick Alba up on the other has side. Been playing happy families. That's your baddie house. She says you live there now with your baddie family. <laughs> She says, you live there now with your baddie family. <laughs> Kids are smart. Hey, let's play dolls. This is Emma. She's a 25 year old nurse. Here's Paul. He's an accountant. He wanted to be a professional tennis player, but he was only the 10th best tennis player in his state. So sometimes he hits people to make himself feel like he still has that killer serve. Emma meets Paul at work when he comes in to have a torn wrist ligament looked at. This is David. He is a gorgeous young FBI agent. And Emma meets him at work too, where he is very chivalrous and steps in when a drunk patient in the ER calls her a bitch. So Emma stops dating Paul. She's dating David now, but Paul keeps getting drunk and calling Emma up and telling her that he loves her and sometimes that he hates her. And so okay. David, here, wait a second. Oh, yeah. David starts watching over Emma's apartment. Every night, after they go on a date, the handsome FBI agent sits outside in his car and watches over her while she sleeps. It's very romantic. David doesn't know that Emma knows this and she doesn't tell him. But you know, it does help her sleep at night. Did he kill this guy? She feels she feels safe. So one night after they go out for ice cream, Paul calls, says he wants to come over. And Emma tells him to come, thinking that David will scare Paul off and that will be that. But when Paul turns up, David waits in the car. And when Emma goes to answer the door, Paul pushes his way in. He argues with her and he cries and he rants and he raves. And Emma gives him a hug because she's a nurse and that's what nurses do when men cry. This is uncomfortable. And that's when David gets out of his car and comes into the apartment because with he's his jealous. pistol drawn. And when he opens the door and he sees Paul and Emma, he doesn't look handsome anymore. Mm. He looks angry. Paul steps back and he looks scared. And Emma looks scared. And David fires his pistol and he shoots Paul in the lung. I 
It takes Paul about 10 minutes to die. Emma could have helped stop the bleeding and maybe he could have lived, but David tells her not to. It was unlikely that Paul would have made it. And sometimes David points out it's better just to let the bad guys die. After watching a guy bleed out together, they get married. That helps make things make sense. God. Even so, Emma is sure that she'll be scared of David forever and ever. You waited because you wanted to save me. You wanted to be a fucking knight in shining armor. You look so small on the screen. I love you, David. But I'm not scared of you anymore. Jeez, okay. Can we find the other side of that? It's Paul, right? Does he say much? It seems like he's probably just listening most of the time, right? gonna scan through to see if he says anything. Oh, it's the way it is in relationships though. It's there are things that have happened that uh could be traumatic or could be serious that are just it's so hard to talk about so they just never spoke about it after it happened till this point So apparently, ladies and gentlemen, there is more to find. We got glimpses of this, but uh, we never got the full story. God, look at his face. I was 
Driving past, I saw his car parked on the street outside. I went straight into the apartment. He was grabbing you, and I feared for your life. I love you. Oh. Well, I look at uh, my clock and it's been another hour We're at 5.53 a.m., almost six. I'm going to wrap up this episode here, everybody. There's still more to find. I felt like we've... That's probably, like, the ending... That might be, like, the ending point of Emma's story, that long video. I feel like we might have seen the end of Maxine's in that video where David confronts her. We've definitely seen the end of David. Um, not sure about Ava, though. I feel like there's probably more to find out about Ava in terms of an ending. But... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to wrap this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue. I'm going to keep looking on the next one, and maybe we'll rip, encrypt, and upload then. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.